Hi everybody, welcome to Day Z and welcome to update 114 on my local server. Um, my, we've got a lot of stuff to go through today, so don't worry, we're going to be going and having a look at the toxic zone at the uh, at the end of this video, but there's so much, so much else we want to look at as well. So, let us start off with the new gun that we get, which is the FAMAS, or the LAMAS as they call it. So, um, let's have a look. Uh, let's go into first person. Look at that, there it is. And then if we press and hold R, look at that reload. <laughs> How fantastic is that? Now, um, the uh, LAMAS, or the FAMAS as it's called, can fire in uh, full auto, semi auto, and burst mode, which is pretty cool. Um, it takes a uh, is it a 25 round mag, I think. 25 round mag on it. Um, it can take a wrap and it can take a suppressor. As of now, the only suppressor that I can find to fit it, unless I've missed something, which I may well have, is the improvised suppressor, um, which is uh, which, as you agree, is is a, is a little bit odd to use on a um, on an assault rifle, um, but you know. I guess needs must so nice we'll, we'll use it in a second so very very nice um, now starting from my inventory let's have a look we've also got um, let's put this away lots of NBC gear lots of PPE if you like to deal with the hazard zones uh, the toxic zones. so now for example with the airborne gas mask as you can see the NBC respirator you need to put a filter on it and these filters will run out they'll only last so long so I've got some spare filters here they look like landmines so if we put that in there and then we put that on if I can remember how to do it there we go and so as you can see my view is now a little bit restricted we've also got this gas mask which is a bit odd um, which also uses a filter a replaceable filter there um, in fact is this the normal gas mask let's have a look yeah no that has been around for a while isn't it um, and there's also this gas mask as well um, now the combat gas mask has built-in filters so what will happen with this one is as you're using it um, and it runs out um, that's it you'll, you'll throw it away where the other ones will be able to change now the advantage is you can see better with it apparently so that's the idea but look <laughs> it looks a bit odd doesn't it I think I prefer definitely prefer that gas mask so let, let's get rid of that NBC gear we've now got um, a yellow variant to the NBC gear I will put that on in a tick and you can kind of see that in action um, we have also got a new scope we've got the uh, starlight scope which is a six times I think where have we got it here yeah I think it's a think it's a six times so if I take if I tell you what let's uh, take this gas mask off let's assign it to a hotkey take it off Let's put that back in our backpack. Let us put our gun up. Right, let's change to night time. Bit of a luck. Right there. There we go. So we've got night time now. There we go. How cool does that look? There's some uh, zombies at the end. So that's the new night vision scope. I mean, <laughs> that looks like saying I've Call of Duty, doesn't it? Now, what are these down here? So they, they my friends, are tripwires. So let, let's go back to daytime. And let us swap to the FAMAS. Right, it's so back to daytime. So we've now got tripwires. And tripwires, uh, let's see if we can, I have put some over here. Here we go. Here's a couple of trip wires. Here's a trip wire. Um, let's see if we can get. Yeah, so if you can. 
There we go. So there's the tripwire. Now you make a tripwire out of rope and sticks, um, and then you can attach grenades to it. So, so lethal grenades or things like um, uh, smoke grenades. So if, for example, let's put our mass away. Let's get a smoke grenade. Let's fix it onto this. So, as you can see, so as I'm running along, watch what happens. Bonk. <laughs> hey, how cool is that? That is so good. Now, I know you're thinking, well, wait a bit. We don't care about smoke grenades, although that does look cool. In fact, let's set the other one off as well. Um, we want to kill people. We want to kill zombies. So I've got a couple of deadly ones set up here with grenades on. So what we'll do is we'll spawn a zombie in and we'll uh, let them come to us. Um, spawn an NPC zombie. Oh, oh, woo. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. It's too close. Oh, I've just set that grenade off. I think. <laughs> Now, I've got God Mode on, so it doesn't affect me. Um, I'll tell you what, we might have some um, some trouble. Are they going to come towards us? Okay, we'll have to watch out for those zombies. But you see how cool... <laughs> Sorry, zombie. Now, this is an NPC zombie. Uh, an NBC dom zombie. I guess he is an NPC. Um, what has he got on him? Nothing. Oh, so you can't take his kit off him, which is a bit of a pain. Okay, so how how fun is that? How fun is this? This is absolutely fantastic. Now, also, <laughs> we've got um, hairs now um, because you can create uh, snares. Now, from what I understand, hairs won't be running and rabbits won't be running around the server. But if you... Uh, here we go. Craft a snare. Where have we got? Where's a snare? I'm sure... So that's some wire. That's a fishnet trap. Okay, so if you get some wire and you combine it with, uh, I think it was a stick. Craft. Oh, that's a trip wire. Uh, what was it? It was wire and. I remember now. Oh, it's a bit. It's a, it's a stick. Yeah, it is a stick. Yeah. Short stick. Craft trip wire. Extra speed. Craft snare trap. There we go. So you can craft a snare trap. There we go. And now we have the snare trap, which we can then. I guess we, you probably wouldn't put it in the middle of an airfield. Okay, it doesn't want to let me... I'll deploy, there we go. Right, so it needs to be like on grass or something like that. And I guess the way it work, will work is that you will uh, put it down and you'll come back to it and you might find a rabbit or a chicken or a rooster uh, attached to it. We've also got the uh, fish trap as well. Now, there's two types of fish traps. There's the large and the small. So this is the... Um, small fish trap which is basically a water bottle with the top cut off so all you need is a water bottle and a sharp object you cut the top off it inverts it you put that in a river or some water and that will then catch small fishies and then you've got the large uh, fish trap which is this one and the way that this you, you craft this one with some wire and some netting and then you get a fish trap which you can put which will catch bigger fish um, so so that's all cool stuff uh, we've also got, here we go, the uh, antidote. So this is for when you get sick with um, the um, poison from the, the toxic zones. Um, you know, so I guess that would be for um, um, 
uh, if you go to like the ship or the, uh, the now remember the toxic zones the static toxic zones which you know we know there's the ship that's definitely there and then the other toxic zones are going to be uh, there's probably going to be another static one somewhere and there's going to be random toxic zones that, that move around now what else have we got in the inventory is that everything I think that's everything but before we go to the toxic zones there is a rather cool place at the bottom so I'm at the Northwest Airfield so if we just go up to this end of the airfield now we're probably gonna have some zombies to deal with are we no. this is it look look at this place it's like a decontamination center now what's really cool about these 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 are like from armor three these How cool is this? This looks absolutely fantastic. Brilliant brilliant and there's one at an airfield in Livonia as well so that's pretty cool but because that is now a thing in the files we'll be able to spawn these in on console um, and uh, and PC as well which is which is excellent right let me let's just have a quick look at the updates was there anything I missed no okay so now we really want to go and have a look at the ship don't we so let's bring up the map and it is here isn't it so let us start here at the road yeah now what i'll do let me spawn in some binoculars Hmm. Might not have had enough room for him. Let's have a go. Let's have another again. Spawn binoculars. Let's put them on the ground. There we go. And let's put them to number six. Look at all this gas. <laughs> How cool is this? Ooh. Ooh dear. Fantastic. Right, okay, so what we want to do then is we want to put on our NBC gear, don't we, so that we can actually go and um, and have a look round in the gas. So let's put our gas mask on. Um, if I, if I, is it quicker if I just throw this stuff on the floor? You'll have to forgive me, I'm not brilliant with keyboard and mouse. Okay, so, NBC hat. NBC f f shoes, NBC pants, oh, NBC. Oh, oh, what happened? Where's my NBC jacket? Have I got an NBC jacket on? Where's the NBC? Did I not pick? Oh, the NBC jacket is still in there. Okay. It's all right. So it's making me put it in. So maybe what we need to do is take our hunter jacket off, put our NBC jacket on.
Right, okay. So, we are good to go, but we don't really want to be carrying that, do we? Can we f put it anywhere? Let's get rid of these sticks. Not enough room yet. Let's move. Fit there. Oh, it's just not letting me do it, is it? Um, okay, we'll leave our jacket there then. Um, let us get our gun out and let us head into... Actually, I'll tell you what I did want to do. So where's the information about how long... Oh, wait a minute. Do I need another... With side mount for filter cartridges. Does that mean it needs two? No. Okay, so how... All oh, right, yeah, there's a little line there that tells us how long the cartridge is going to last for. Okay. Here we go. Into the gas. You can hear the breathing, can't you? How cool is this? Can't wait to have a go on um, Xbox and PlayStation. Right, we're into the gas now. So what they've said is they've changed the loot economy within these random within the um, gas zones within the toxic zones. Right, there's an it. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? NBC zombie. Uh, NBC, yeah, MB, MB, NBC, nuclear biological chemical zombie. Oop. A bit pissed off these zombies, aren't they? Okay, so... Uh, heal. Now, I am, of course, I've got God Mode toggled on, <laughs> so they can't actually kill me for this video. Oh, this is so good. I love this gas. Makes it so atmospheric, doesn't it? But that was the FAMAS in action. With an improvised suppressor. Saying of Resident Evil. There's a car radiator. Wait a minute. Why is there a car radiator on top of the ship? Ooh. Well, there we go. How absolutely cool is that? What an amazing update from Adam Franku and uh, the, the Daisy team. With such a small team, and look what they've brought us. You know, slow increment. Oh, I'm bleeding again. Oh, and I'm ill. Oh, right. I'm, why am I ill, though? 
probably because um, I healed my... Oh, right, I'm constantly bleeding. What's wrong then? Damp. Okay. Anyway. What a fantastic update. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, how different does this look? I can't wait to dive into the files and find out where the other um, toxic zones are and how we can uh, mod toxic zones to have them wherever we want. But there we go. There's the update. I think we've covered most of the, the cool stuff, haven't we? We've looked at the FAMAS. We've looked at the tripwires. We've looked at um, the new scope. We've looked at um, the new MBC kit. Um, and we've looked at uh, the new location at North East Airfield. And um, we've come here to have a look at the toxic zone on the ship. So what do you think? Put your questions and comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all again soon.